Hello friends, this is Elizabeth Elmer, your English language coach. I'm here to help you on your road to English fluency and to gain more confidence in using this as your foreign language. I'm so happy to help you. What can a language coach do for you? Well, we can provide you with materials or let you know where you can find materials, ways to practice your English and to learn more. You might have a specific goal in mind. I hope that you do because it's easier to reach your goal if we know how to get to it. Remember we talked about language partners or conversation partners. It's always a good way to keep practicing. Today in this video, we're going to see five tips to help you on your way to practice your English. The first is English moments. The number five is really important again. I want you to find something related to English for five minutes every day. And that's Monday through Sunday, every single day, including vacations. Look for some way that you could practice your English. You might listen to a song, you might read a book, you might listen to a podcast, maybe look at a movie, whatever you could do to be in contact with English for five minutes. The second tip is what's called show and tell. That's where you find some object and you talk about it. You share it with your friends. You could share it with your conversation partners. You could share it just as a recording. Find some way to share, show and tell. Typically it's done through speaking, but you could also use a journal to record your show and tell. It could be any object. For example, it could be uh, a seashell and how you got that seashell. Anything that you think you would like to share. The third tip is called total physical response. And that's what we're going to see in this video as well. We're going to see a song. It's called, It's a Beautiful Day. We've been looking and playing with this song and practicing and dancing to this song several times now. The total physical response is where you have to act out something that you hear. So typically it's an action words, like the birds are flying and the plane is flying and the trees are swaying. Total physical response is where you use your body to act out an action. Why is this important? It helps your memory. It helps the pathway to your memory. Maybe you're only going to make a circle around a word, but you're using your hand. This is also total physical response. We usually call it TPR for total physical response. The fourth tip has to do with connected speech. We're going to also see this in this video. Connected speech are where two words get pushed together. Well, this is in speaking, not in writing. In writing, there's still two words, but when you're speaking, it gets pushed together like going to, going to comes out gonna, and want to comes out wanna. This is very common in informal speaking. You might want to actually say want to or going to, but when you're listening, to be able to understand native speakers, you need to understand connected speech. So there's a whole list of words that are pushed together. Sometimes other words are pushed together for other phonological reasons, such as bite it, it comes bite it, hmm? which has to do with a consonant and a vowel. So do remember as tip number four, to practice connected speech. And you'll see this, an example of this quickly in this video that's coming up. And the fifth and the last thing I want you to practice and that you'll see in this video is collocations. Collocations are words that go together. 
These are like expressions. So you're always going to say words such as a bar of soap, hmm? state of the art. Some of them might be related more to business and some just in general use, but there's a whole list. In fact, there's even dictionaries of collocations and they're important because they're culturally bound. And if you say the wrong word, everyone will notice. For example, some of them are like, take a bath, do your homework, do the dishes. So these are the five tips. These are the five things I'd like you to see in this video. And I hope that you put them into practice in your English practice. Remember, we're English coaches. We're here to help you in any way. All best wishes and goodbye for now. Good morning and happy to this Saturday. This is the English Fluency Club and we're now at number seven. We've really had a lot of fun times with our Fluency Club. I'd like to introduce you to our newest member of our club, and this is Fernanda. Fernanda, say hello. That's Hi. Fernanda. Hi. And Fernanda, these are some of the members of the English Fluency Club, and we're happy that you're here. We're very happy that you're here, Fernanda. Fernanda, yes. can you say something about yourself? Can you introduce yourself? My name is Rita Fernanda Pucaya Suarez. Um, please call me her. Um, I'm studying marketing. Um, I'm working accounting firm with my uncle. Um, I'm I'm twenty one years old. Um, and that's all. That's all. Okay. Welcome, Fair. She likes Fer, F-E-R, for short, for Fernanda. So we're very yeah. happy you're here, Fernanda. Hmm? Very, very welcome, and we'll see you. I'm also working with Fernanda on Wednesdays, and so we see Fernanda on Wednesday. She just started last Wednesday, and this is her very first fluency club. So we're very happy to see you. I think Angelica went out, and she's going to come back in to the club again today. So a special welcome to there. Do any of you have any questions for Fernanda? Mm, Easy questions? No, no. <laughs> um, no. Where where does Fernanda study? Ask her. Ah, I'm studying. Fernanda, where where do you study? Where? Uh, studying at UBM. Ah. Do yes, you know what um, UBM means, Adrina? Yes, I know, Universidad del Valle de Mexico. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's where she's studying marketing. Do we okay. have any other questions for Fernanda? Uh, uh, Fernanda, you said that uh, you work with uh, your sister or? Um, uncle, no? Or your uncle. Uncle, uncle. uncle yes. So wh what do you do? Um, In... I'm making, I make uh, the invoices. Ah, um, Fernanda said and that she works with her uncle as at an accounting firm. Okay. Her uncle is an accountant and she's working as an assistant with her uncle at the accounting firm. So she just said she makes the invoices. Okay, okay. okay. I I got it. Thank you, yeah. Fernanda. Welcome to the <laughs> Thank you. Fluency Club. <laughs> Any what? other questions, Maritza? Yes. Uh, where were you born? Where are you from? And also welcome. <laughs> um, I'm I'm born in Mexico and um, in the state of Mexico, um, La Nepantla. Um, I live in in Jardín Balbuena. Um, for for a sol. Uh, <laughs> okay, close to photos on. Yeah. So, huh? so Fair was born in Tlanipantla or Nakalpan? Tlanipantla. Tlanipantla. Okay. Uh, well, the state of Mexico, but you know, Mexico City is a megalopolis. You know, 
it's not like she was born very far away, you know. <laughs> she was born in the megalopolis of the 22 million people of Mexico City. She is Mexicanse, no? We call those who were born in Mexico State, they are Mexicanses. That's right. And again, welcome again. Can you hear oh, me? I'm sorry, I, I, did, I did a mistake and I closed my, my session. Absolutely no problem. Angelica, this is Fair or Fernanda. She's a new member of the. I, 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 I heard a lot of her. He works with his, his uncle. Right. He has 19. And in that moment, my connection crashed. <laughs> Fair, are you 19 years old? 21. 21. 21. She's much older. Much she's older. She's the younger. She's the younger or the youngest? The youngest. <laughs> the youngest. She's the baby of the group. <laughs> so we're very welcome to have you. Fair, every day we work on something called English moments, English moments. Can one of the three of you old members of the club explain to Fair what the English moments are? Okay, the English moments are the time that you dedicate to try to improve your English. One for me are to obligated and other are for election. My, my election is I, I was heard an uh, audiobook dedicated to how to improve your management of the time because one of the things that I struggle is to try to to find the time because I how do you say I expend a lot of times in things that they are not important for example I so the classical people to going through the same many times of the one thing, one thing in the kitchen for a glass. I come back with a eyes. I, I have You're multitasking. <laughs> but yeah. it's not a real music multitasking. When, when I uh, was, uh, when I was hearing this book, I noticed one thing in my life that I never uh, thinking. Um, they say uh, the multitasking is even exists. It's not a real thing. It is a, a, a divided attention. They, they, the name that they use for this kind of things that I, in my English class, but I attend in the phone and I try to uh, talk with my son or many things at the same time, it's not multitasking. It's attention divided or divided attention. Mm -hmm. And this is my elected uh, moments of English and my, how do you say obligation or is this a bad word? Yeah, it's you're obligatory or your work mandatory. obligation. My mandatory English moments is I work in a, in, an, in, a, in a pharmaceutical company and I have some meetings in this pharmaceutical company. And the critical, I have two critical meetings, one of the one clinical trials with um, a lot of technicisms of the, my career. In that, I, I think, everything works really well. And one is a social meeting. This is a Blados Coffee. Blados is our boss of the boss. And the idea is to share with, with him in, a, in an informal way, what are you doing in the job and how to contribute of the company. But it is kind of chatting. It's informal, really informal. And sometimes we talk about other things. In these scenarios, I really struggle with that because it's not that my technical background and I um, suffer in this, but uh, this is my English moment of the week. Thank you. So uh, in this case there, the English moment is five minutes a day, Monday through Sunday, every day, five minutes, some contact with English a song, a book, a television program, a movie, or like Dr. Angelica says, it could be her work that she has to do it. It's obligatory as well. Remember, oh, by the way, Nayeli got a wonderful job as an art education teacher 
And now she has to take a course, but she'll be here next time and you'll be able to congratulate on her on that. <laughs> and the last time we were talking about art education and Adrina mentioned liberal arts. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the chat right now over here on the side. And hopefully you all can see it. Because we were talking about the idea of liberal arts, liberal arts. And Ms. Maritza explained to us art and science. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is divided into art and science. And the liberal arts is basically not related to a job. It's general culture, basically, is liberal arts. And I mentioned to you that I got a degree. Here it is. This is not the paper one, but my mother made a metal one so I could put it on the wall. <laughs> so here you might be able to see it says Bachelor of Bachelor, bachelor of Arts, a Bachelor of Arts in Education. So this was my undergraduate. With honors, says with honors. Of That's course it says with honors. <laughs> <laughs> You're Thank, you very much. Thank you very much. So this is a Bachelor of Arts. And remember with Adrina, we were talking that they call it a BA, Bachelor of Arts. That's your first university degree. So FAIR will get a Bachelor of Arts in Marketing. Mm -hmm. And Maritza got a Bachelor of Arts in Architecture. Mm -hmm. oh. And Adrina got a Bachelor of Arts in Education. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Angelica, I'm not too sure because it was from Mexico, so I don't really know. But we need to find out what the medical degree is called. In the United States, you have to do four years before medical school. So in the United States, you have to get a Bachelor of Arts and then go to medical school. And then you get an MD, okay? Here in Mexico, it's kind of science of health. Mm -hmm. Right, it's within the science area. Now I wanna show you the other one, it gets bigger. When you get more education, you get a bigger diploma, okay? <laughs> Not a much bigger diploma, right? So as I was mentioning last time, it's a yeah. master's of science in education, a master's in science and education. So in the case of this university, they put education in the world of science or the school of science. I wanna show two more things with you. Can any of you girls talk about what, oh, Leonardo, we need Leonardo in English class. <laughs> Hello, Leonardo. Hello, Leonardo. How are you? Hi, Leonardo. <laughs> Next. Uh, okay. Leonardo is Angelica's son. Okay. How old is Leonardo, Angelica? Eight years old. He's eight years old. And he's in first grade? Yes. First grade. And okay. next Saturday, oh. we want to see him in English class. Yes, to, because yesterday he slept with his father in another house. Ah, okay. uh, he, they arrived late. So in the morning, but they arrived late. Sorry. Okay. Next Saturday. Okay. Can any of you explain to there what show and tell is? Show and tell. Ah, uh, okay. Show and tell is an act. It's like an activity. Um, Fernanda, you need to identify some some things that you just that that for you it's very important for your life and you need to describe uh, the things and uh, you can explain the means of the things it's for you so okay. this is show and tell so, so the example that adrina gave there was she brought in a Venezuelan flag because she is from Venezuela, okay? And Miss Maritza brought in an art project. And, oh, we have a, oh, there's the Venezuelan flag there. You're uh, from uh, Venezuela, Andreina? Yes, yes, I'm from Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that, I we don't know. Have, Fernanda, we have two students in the club from Venezuela. 
Ah, ya. Yes. Oh, oh, Andreina and... Alberti. And her name is Alberti. She's absent today. She has to go to work today. Okay? So, Adrina brought the flag because it's important to her. And I brought my diplomas. Uh, and Lisa brought an art project. I'm going to show you we made this one for me. Oh, let us see, Miss Marita. Is it a boat? Is it a plane? Yeah, it's, a, it's a bird. It's oh, it's bird a bird. Has, yeah, birds have color in their names. So then we made a, a piece of paper with colors, then we cut a bird. And we invented a name for the bird. Okay, so so Fernanda, Miss Maritza is an English teacher. We hope for Angelica's son next Saturday, okay? <laughs> so okay. they made that bird in class today. And so she is showing us and talking about it. So that's show, show and tell, show and tell. I wanna show you two more things in my show and tell. This was my convention last week, okay, last Saturday. And I showed this to uh, Adrina that we have her colleague, which is Paula. This mm -hmm. is the person that Adrina works with, which is Paula. And so Adrina and Paula and I work on Wednesdays. And this was the slogan, laugh, love, and impact. This is the organization. So I wanted to show that to you in another little mini show and tell. And I have one more show and tell. I have three show and tells today. Excuse me, Angelica. What does the, uh, the organization? Oh, what is that? Oh, I'm going to send you something so you can read in English. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is something I gave last Saturday, and it's really long. Okay. <laughs> okay. And last Saturday we celebrated the 60th anniversary of this organization. Hmm? This organization, I'm gonna send this to you so you'll Thank know you. what the organization is. It's called Alpha Delta Kappa. And when I was with Adrina on Wednesday, we were talking about these kinds of organizations in the United States at the universities and they use these letters. This is Greek, okay? This is from old, 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 old times, from ancient Greece. So Alpha, Delta, Kappa, and this is an organization for women in education, okay? So I'm gonna make a note here to send you history and all practice or reading, okay? So it, it's kind of long, but I think you all can understand because you're all at the intermediate advanced level. So I will send this to you so you'll understand more about the organization. But we try to help people, we give help to schools, to teachers, to altruistic projects, and we're all in education. So that's where I was last Saturday at this organization. And I have one more show and tell. So I have three show and tells, my diploma, my convention. And, and your suitcase, where is your suitcase? Oh, and you no, know, I took my suitcase upstairs. Next time I'll bring my suitcase for fair, okay? Okay. Uh, Janina, can you explain my suitcase so fair will know why we're talking about suitcase? Okay, uh, Elizabeth has a suitcase. Uh, I remember the colors that are, uh, the suitcase is, um, the colors are blue and pink, I think. And in the middle of the, of the suitcase, you can see a dog. That is a chihuahua. Yes, <laughs> with glasses. With sunglasses. Glasses. sunglasses. Yes, but the um, chihuahua is very fancy. It's very, very fancy. And the chihuahua is at the beach in this photograph. And so he's got his sunglasses and it says living the dream. And guess what? 
I took my dog suitcase to my convention last Saturday. Uh, really? And I put all the books and papers and everything, and I <laughs> go into Hacienda de los Morales with my dog suitcase. Yeah, it was really funny. The last thing I want to show you for show and tell is this. Miss Deppie did this, Miss Maritza. Mm, very nice. Isn't that cute? Yeah, yeah, so beautiful. With another Leonardo, Angelica. She, our made this with another Leonardo. And it says, uh, you are my sunshine. Oh, yeah. I, like, mm -hmm. I can try to do that. <laughs> yeah, here you go. You want to take a picture? Yes, but I want uh, the sentence or the phrase. Oh, the sentence. Ah, yeah. okay. The sunshine. Type. You are my sunshine. <laughs> Dad. Okay. I can also type it in the chat. So she made a circle and she made these very cute sun rays. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. So remember, tomorrow is Father's Day. For those of you that still have fathers, I don't know. I don't. Maritza doesn't. Adrina, is your father in the United States? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, okay. He lives in, in Florida. Does he live in Florida? No, he lives in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Very conservative place. Wow. Okay. So Adrina's father, also from Venezuela, now lives in the United States in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's right in the middle of the United States. Very conservative place. Very <laughs> And Angelica, is your father still alive or not? He's alive. He, he lives in Veracruz. Oh, wow. We need to go visit your father in Veracruz. Would be a good idea, but not with, in this time because it's a lot of hot. <laughs> it's, too, yeah. it's too hot. Okay. So, Adrien, uh, um, fair, this is show and tell. And, that, and I don't know, Angelica, do you have anything else that you want to share with us? Yes, um, a little thing. This is um, the first uh, gift that my son made me. The oh. Mother, the mother gift for the mother's oh, for day. Mother's day. He, he prepares this with his professor. And it is a photograph of my son with a phrase, I love you, mom, and I love it. Oh, it's the no, last year. It's not for this year, it's the last year. And this thing, this is a toy for my kids. And I love it because he's one of his favorites. And remember when Leo was a really young, you know, young little, when he's a baby. And I, this is one of my favorite things. When I travel, it's ridiculous, I know, but when I travel and it is a long drive, the trip, I sometimes, depends on the time, I bring with me. Wow. <laughs> this it's like a dresser. It's like a dresser. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> isn't that sweet? And what, nice. what's his name? What's the name of the rabbit? <laughs> Leonardo. Uh, <laughs> the rabbit's name is Leonardo. Leonardo. Is Leonardo. <laughs> with oh, this, I, I teach Leonardo the 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 body's uh, parts or the body components the parts of the body uh, your your foot something like that and the colors and uh, I, oh, I really like it. Oh. that's <laughs> very very <laughs> sweet I never told you maybe but my son has a condition he's a uh, with autism diagnosis but uh, this when he wants to work with me for example to to learn colors, things to try to write. He bring me this because it's kind of signal that I, he want to to try to do something to learn. Wow. Mom. Interesting. I'm pointing to the doll. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. Thank you very much for sharing. That's very important. You know, my mother kept all my things and I still have some of the baby things that my mother kept for when I was a baby. So that's very important. <laughs> I can, uh, how do you say this? The wish, uh, when Leonardo's born with the, oh. with the way, with the, the exactly moment of the day and the date. 
Uh, and you still have it? Yes, <laughs> but I uh, but it's not not here. It's in other house because previous at here I live in other house. Uh huh. So you know, in the hospitals they put wristbands, or yes. at the famous resorts they put a wristband. Yeah. You know. How is the name? Wrist ID. Yeah, wrist band. Mm -hmm. Wrist band. Wrist band. Wrist band. Here it is in the chat. Wrist. I also have um, a wrist band. The one from my baby. <laughs> from oh, Catholic. you do? Yeah. I, wow. I have it together. Wrist band. You kept one of them, Miss Maritza? Yeah, I think I kept one or two. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> somebody. Uh, I think the third one didn't give me that, but in the, the other hospital, they gave me the oh. wrist bands. Yeah, and, and they you don't know, have a name. They 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 say just born uh, oh. on the data, no? Oh well, that's but, sweet. When yeah. I was at Ixtapa Zihuatanejo, they gave us wristbands at the hotel, and this was to show that you are there. You know, you're a part of the hotel, and you can eat, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. also, right in the middle of the wristband was a computer something to open the door of your room mm. so with your wristband you could open the door of your room so uh -huh. that's good well thank you so much um angelica for sharing that's very sweet so if any of you have any more um I have some. Help, that would be fine i have some we, we wrote a poem today uh, for that and it was, the, the last word was align, so they feel that, no? And it says, my, let me see if I can read it. But I'm going to read it like this. It's a point. My father they, is as strong as horses. As Bowser. Do you know who's Bowser? No, who's Bowser? He's, he's the bad guy in, in Mario Bros. game. It's a super big and strong monster. Oh, the and children know that. The children wrote different words here. Okay. Superman or whatever. She is as cool as Luigi, that is uh -huh. the brother the of brothers Mario. of Mario. Uh -huh. And also the kids wrote different words there. She is as handsome as Luigi. <laughs> the, the children is one the same. She's as funny as Donkey Kong. Do you know who's that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's another character of the same game. Yeah, yeah. She, she's as nice as Josie. She is as smart as Einstein. <laughs> as oh. smart as Einstein? Yes, wow. my father is as smart as Einstein, and I love you, Daddy. <laughs> uh, very um, sweet. Well, those of you that are lucky enough to have your fathers, uh, <laughs> happy Father's Day, and Maritz and I will hold our fathers in our memories. Very sweet, very nice. Yeah. Oh, and Fernanda's father, Fernanda, your father lives in Querétaro? Yes. Yes. He lives in Querétaro. And what's your father's name there? Um, uh, Luis. Luis. Okay. So her father, who's Luis, lives in Querétaro. So the three of you girls are lucky enough to have your father. So happy Father's Day. Now, guess what, uh, girl? Angelica was telling me the other day. I guess it was maybe about two weeks ago that she was kind of worried. Why are we singing a children's song? You know, <laughs> oh my goodness, what's that all about? Right? <laughs> we can also we use. decided it was fun. Yeah, we can also right. use yeah. like Beatles song and things like that. But when you move, you put logic in it to your brains. And that's why it's good to do these kind of things. Yeah. And over here in the chat, if you notice, I, t I wrote again. Total, if you could see it, total response. physical response. You're using all of your body to respond. And mm -hmm. as we were talking a couple of weeks ago, this is really important with children, but also in learning a foreign language. We try to do the abbreviation, which is T, the, the letters, R. T, D, R. Which make sure, make okay. sure you are directing to todos, to everybody, the chat. There's a little 
blue rectangle? Oh, it says you to everyone. Ah, okay. Can you, can everybody see? Yes. The chat, yeah. Okay, yeah, it says to everyone, so hopefully that's, that's still working. So the total physical response is you hear something and then you act it out. And the teacher, or even yourself, can see that you understand. Okay, so we're also going to try the drawing that Ms. Maritza made. <laughs> and last time on Halika I had a terrible time figuring out the Crayola. <laughs> Okay. And so, you know, Angelica, I don't know how to use the Crayola either. Okay, I'm going to put the whiteboard to, so you practice on writing something on the whiteboard to just to try that you can. And the exercise fair is to circle what you're hearing in the. I'm going yes. to put a drawing and then you circle whatever you hear. Marisa, can you explain me once again how to use the Crayola? Yeah, yes, you, explain the... to me too, Marisa, because uh -huh. I see the Crayola. Okay, you I don't move know what the... to do. Ah, uh, there you are. Okay, you move the mouse to the top, and then it pops like an option uh, black rectangle. Then you, you? have to find... Maybe my computer doesn't have this because I... Yeah, I don't see... know what you mean either, Maritza. Uh, oh. Because I only see view, standard, side by side, swap we, video. Okay, do yes. you know how to and share? I think that on the top, you have, you have like a panel of control. No. If you move the mouse, it appears. In the, in the bottom, a mute, stop video, participant, share screen, chat. Uh, do, you see a, do you see a pencil somewhere? Ah, no, well, I need to put pencil. the board so you see the pencil. Black, brown, no. Uh, yes. Can you move the, the For example, mouse? I think I think that, uh, Angelica, you can see like a message that some said, for example, you are viewing Marisa mm -hmm. screen. So in this message, on, on next, you can see view option. So you can click on annotate. And with this, ah. I think oh, that you okay. can active uh, the pencil uh fair do you understand how to draw on the whiteboard um, yes yes go to Are the view you? and after okay. that okay there you go fair and okay, so i see mouse text draw not ready who else okay. uh yes. i'm drawing a tree <laughs> beautiful <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm talk. going in a circle <laughs> oh. problem. Okay, let me see what else I can do. I don't want to go in a circle. How about, Fair, do you know how to do this? Oh, no teacher. Oh, I'm still going in a circle. Ah, you wrote a line, so that's okay. No. Ah, okay, okay. You Try. need to, uh, ah, but you see a, already. a wave. Fair is drawing at this moment, but Angelica, Angelica, if you move your mouse on the top or on the to the no, I don't have these options. Maybe this is a restriction of my computer because it's not personal computer. But I try another way. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Okay. Just just point at it with your finger, and then you know that. That's you what I'm going to do, Angelica. <laughs> ah, come on, Miss Elmer, you can draw. Yeah. I don't know. It says draw. When where you put the mouse where it says draw and they go down to the first wave. Oh, so to a wave. wave. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Oh, Angelica, now I know how to do it. You can do it too. Angelica, do you see something green and red at the top? <laughs> okay, let me find the drawing. Uh, and let me. Who's working? Okay. Oh, Fader, do you do you know how to draw? Oops. There's coffee. <laughs> okay, ready everybody? Yes, fair drove a uh, a heart. Yeah, I guess. A pink heart. Oh, fair drew a heart. Ready? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, so no <laughs> okay, yeah, you're going, going to try. Angelica is going to try it in another building the telephone. Okay. Let me share the board again. Okay. So, we need to draw something about the sun. Yeah, I'm going to show you a drawing and then you circle whatever you hear, okay? 
Yes, fair. Uh, fair, fair is having a problem with her. Are you okay? Are you okay or we should run to your house? Do you want some water, Fair? Yes, teacher. I have tea, but I'm a little bit Oh, okay. I hope you feel well. Okay. Okay, there you go. Eh? Let's go to the drawing. Okay. So, Miss Maritza is going to show us the drawing. Ah. Okay, and then I'm going to oh, it's make so it a little small. bit bigger. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Okay, and let's. Uh, I'm going to play the song and then you circle. much. Elizabeth Delmer made a lot of crazy circles there. <laughs> okay, so I, Elmer, talk, talking about show and tell, uh, I made a video when my father passed away. It's very short, one minute and a half. Do you want to see it? I want. Sure, uh, yeah. let's see it. Um, Angelica, uh, Maritza's father. I'm exercising my way. <laughs> uh, Angelica, Maritza's father was a very famous doctor. He was also a medical oncologist, and he worked for many, many years. Maybe I met his father. Mm, this Hector Antonio Mimensa Ponce. He worked in the. Uh, there you are. Really, he's where, very famous. Yes, he's famous. Yeah. So where, where did you meet him? <laughs> because um, in one, in, we met not a lot of oncologists at that time. There are at least. And when I talking with the uh, older oncologists, my professors. They're talking about the, the professors of the professors, and the name is recognized in the middle. If you ask some oncologists, even of the youngest, maybe not the really youngest, but the middle of the oncologists, they recognize the name. Uh, cool. Well, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> yes, that's very sweet, isn't it, Marita, to know yeah. that the awesome. impact continues. Yes. Yes, yes can you. you show us the video that you made yes. for your father? I think it's here. That's very good for Father's Day. Exactly. That's why I wanted to show you today. Five years ago, Maritza? Um, he, he, he died on 16th, on the year 2016. 2016. And I don't know what is this, not so big. Ah, there you are. Okay, and, uh, and I put this sometimes in Father's Day. So this is five years ago, but it was like eight years ago. Aha, uh -huh, correct. Mm -hmm. Is that your father? Uh, yes, that's my father, me and my baby. <laughs> my brother. Look, he was a doctor and he was, this This is in Mazatlan when my brother was born. It was his first picture. 
Mm -hmm. uh, they were driving from Sonoita to Mexico City in two cars, and well, my brother came a bit of too early, and he was a little born early. So thank you thank for you sharing for that with us. That's and it makes it even uh -huh. more special that Dr. Angelica knows who he is. And so to realize the impact that he made. And you know, okay. we all make an impact. You know, that's that's just so sweet. So yes. sweet. So sweet. You know? Yeah. Thank you so much, Marisa. That's thank you, Marisa. That's very, that's very touching. Oh. For those of us that have our fathers already departed, it's even more special. You know, um, I actually put my alarm this time. So I know that now we only have about seven minutes. Although my internet, I see it's very unstable. <laughs> I wanna tell you two things and let's see if I can speak quickly. Um, one is to be sure and look at that activity page and fair, I'm gonna send this to you. It's about pronunciation about special words in pronunciation. So these are words like, uh, what can we think of any examples of words that connect? Can you think of words or examples of words that connect? The compounds, you mean? Or yeah, well, for uh, example, like should have, it's very fast, it's should have. Ah, okay. Should have, okay. Or, sometimes words like this they go together like bite it so i'm going to be sure and send that to you fair copy of that it's called connected speech so you all want to know how to listen to these kinds of words uh maritza do you have that really quickly to show them or not um, yeah, if you yes. don't that's okay I think it's in the, I sent you the lesson that I taught last time. Yeah, and you know what? You and know, girls, you know, our chat now has a disappearing feature and I might take it away. Okay, let's, that that's fine, Maritza. Okay, this is what, okay. we, what yes. you sent. So, uh, Fair, I'm going to send that to you. Uh, and so these are words that are very fast. For example, this is uh, want to becomes wanna, got to becomes gonna, going to becomes gonna, would have becomes very fast, would have. And go up to the top, Marisa. These are words also that go together. So as opposed to saying wow. give away, it's give away, give away, give away. Give away. Okay, check in becomes check in. Check in, check in. This one is freak out, freak out. Freak out means to go crazy, okay? So I have a question. You need to memorize this or do you have a no, kind of rule to try to identify that? Now, these are just some examples of how words go yeah. together. But for example, no, no, no. But for example, uh, you don't have a rule to try to identify what words could be uh, are in the same, for example, one or two, Maybe we could have the practice, but I maybe if the consonant is next to the vowel, um, something like that. That's it. That's uh -huh. it. Yeah, Maritza, you want to say that? I uh, guess that the the word, uh, the next word, the second word start with a, with a vowel, so so uh, they get together. And the the thing is, you don't really have to learn them, but when you hear them, 
at the beginning you will never maybe don't understand it because you don't know that there are two words but with practice and listening movies and all that then you get to to know that it works like that no they they work like one word yeah so there is a rule on helica this is a consonant the hmm? next word starts with a vowel so there okay so this is a rule and you you identify that so Check all of the words on the letter a it sounds like a consonant. It sounds like a vowel. They get pushed together. So that's why it's give away, check in, freak out, check out, run out, catch up, ask around, bring up, check in, find out. They're pushed together. So there is a rule. And go up to the top again, Maritza. This is the word phrasal verbs. These are examples of two word verbs or three word verbs. In this case, there's only two words there, okay? And they're called mm -hmm. phrases. It's more than one word. It's got two or three words there. So it's a verb that has either two or three words. So they're called phrasal verbs. And so that's one example of how they go together. At letter B, going down, these are another rule. It's another rule of phonology. It has to do with the sound. This sound next to this sound, they go together. So this deals with phonology. So you don't say could you, you say coulda. You don't say don't you, you say don't you. You don't say Not want sure. to, you say want, want to. Okay. So you don't have to memorize but them, but you just need to recognize them. Maritza, very fast, in the last one minute, can you show us the other one where you had the, the where it talked about the business nouns, if you get a chance. Uh, this was super fun, no, last week. Yeah, and I, I want to mention very quickly that, stop right there, go back up, 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 oops, right there, wait, right, oops, right there, okay, look right here. Very, very quickly, it says, in the blanks, write the noun that collocates, collocates with the words in red. Okay, now I'm gonna write the word collocate. Oops, wait, I lost my chat. Wait, let me try one more time. Collocation, collocation. P O L L O C A T I O N. Collocation. Collocation. Remember, call means together and lock means place. There are many words that go together, like phrasal verbs, but there's others as well. And they always go together in the idea. This is an idea of vocabulary. Vocabulary. So, for example, you would say, uh, catch a cold, catch a cold, or make the bed. These are always together. These are called collocations. There are words in English by culture or by tradition, always go together. So you can't say do the bed, you have to say make the bed. You have to say, do uh, homework, for example. I'm going to do my homework, okay? You can't say make homework. You have to say do homework. So next time we're going to look at the idea of collocation. And here's the word collocate. And Ms. Maritza, if you could send us this exercise again, that uh, yeah. would be wonderful. And that way you can look at it. And I'll also send you more information about words that always go together. So you say cup of coffee, make an effort, pay attention, for example. Okay, okay. these words always go together. So you can't say anything else. And okay. some words are different in Spanish. Some collocations in Spanish are different from the collocations in English. And in your chat, or in the chat, I sent you nine pictures of collocations in English. 
I also said, here's Spanish, here's English. You say this in Spanish, but you have to be careful. It's different in English. So next time we'll look at that. Um, so we ran out of time again. But I'm going to send you the page of everything. Here's the, the this, this was lesson four and there's the song, the drawing, and here are the exercises. These okay. are the nouns. Thank this you very much. Thing. Perfect, okay. Thank you very much. Now, remember that our chat, the one that says American Center Lectures and Fluency Club now has a disappearing feature. <laughs> so you only have 24 hours. I don't know, I might change it. I might not have that. But if, if you want something, look at it in these 24 hours. Yes, Miss Marita? Oh, because it's going to get erased or what? It gets erased automatically. Ah, okay. I so. might change it. I might change it. But for right now, one of my friends put the disappearing feature on our chat. So right now you only have 24 hours to look. You need to put it someplace else. Okay, be sure to put the information someplace else before it disappears. Or you could ask me again. Okay? okay. So what did you learn today? Okay. I remember, I remember uh, TPR, like physical response. Yeah. Total yeah. physical response. Total physical response, where you're using your body to help your mind. Okay. And the more you do that, like riding the bicycle or driving the car, your body will help you remember going up and down the stairs, or in this case, English. Okay. <laughs> What else did you learn today? Yes, the, Maria. The titles of when you study bachelor and master's and all that, a little mm -hmm. more about that thing. Yeah, okay, a little bit more about degrees in American universities, okay? What else did you learn today? Uh, remember show and tell. Okay. And the rules to try to use uh, words that I, uh, when you write it are separate but when you speak they are connected right Con it's called connected speech so there's right. a lot here that we're explaining to fair and fair we're very happy that you're here with us i'm going to be sending you the history and maybe i'll do a picture of our dog again and mm -hmm. also what maritza is telling you but be sure if you want to keep it you download it someplace or let me know. So before it gets disappeared, or maybe I could change the disappearing feature. Next time, okay. I'm gonna tell you more about collocations. What words have to go together? Like make the bed, do the homework. There are many, many words. Okay. And if you use it wrong, it sounds funny. So you want to be sure and look, for example, in a list like this, okay? okay. And, and why, why are, are they called collocations? Co, co, co means together. Huh? And lock means, well, co means together and lock Crazy. means travel. Or uh. These are words and phrases that always go together by tradition. Mm -hmm. okay. so, so I put like do homework. In English, you cannot say make homework. You have to say do homework. homework. You have to say make the bed. Mm -hmm. You can, you, for example, even a really easy one like fast food. You have to say fast food. This is a collocation. These two words go together to mean McDonald's and whatever. So collocation is a very fancy word for words that go together by tradition, okay? Okay. Yeah, so, you know, like here I have a whole list of them and in your chat, I put nine pages of them. But there's many, many okay. words that go together like cup, cup of coffee, bar of soap, but you have to say it like that. They're like phrases, they always go together, okay? And a couple of the pages here I put in Spanish 
And I said, okay, in Spanish, it's like this, but in English, it sounds different. You have to sound different. So to look at the English and the Spanish, okay, and see how it's different, okay? Sound good? Oops, I lost, I lost you there. Yes, uh, Elisa, I, I uh, cannot yes. see the exercise that Marisa shared with us. We sh share with us in uh, this class. In the, in the WhatsApp chat, I put the full page that uh -huh. has all the program from, from that day. Which is this one. So in this page, I, I sent this page to the to the chat. And then you can click here and get this is the, the nouns and this is the pronunciation. Okay, but um, you shared this on the last week i cannot i, 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 I cannot find I, I it thought i shared it last week but i didn't yeah Sorry. i agree no, i no, think no, 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 don't worry but at this moment in the whatsapp group i cannot see or i don't know if i'm uh, let me see. I... let's see if you can see this okay i Ah, with right the now, song on the on the page. It it looks like the song. The, the, ah, okay. Now I get the like American Center for Children. Yes. And then and that uh, is, yeah. I got that it. Thank you page. so much. It's just going down. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, we'll be able to look more about collocations next time. Collocation is a very fancy word for okay. words that are very heavy culturally impacted. And my favorite, my favorite of all of them is where they use the example of the green man. You know, when I came to Mexico, I didn't understand what in the world people were talking about when they said green man. What does that mean? What in the world is a green man? So I found out that it's called not a green man, but a dirty old man. In English, you say dirty old man. And in Spanish, you say viejo verde. Ah, okay. okay. So this is a whole thing here where it says, Spanish says this. In English, you can't say green man because nobody will understand what you're talking about. What is that green man, right? <laughs> so it says, it says Spanish. It says don't say. And then it says on the other side, it says say. Should so, sweet water, not fresh water. Yeah. yeah, you have to use some of them very differently in English. It's sometimes a preposition, a special word that's different. Okay. Uh, especially Spanish in Mexico is very with a lot of those flowery right. words. So, you know what? It's called colocacion. It's a cognate with Spanish. So these are colocaciones in Espanol but they come out differently as a collocation in English. Okay, okay, I didn't know that. So you might not be familiar with that linguistic word, but you're right, Maritza, there's a whole bunch of them in Mexico, well, in, in Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. There's many, many, many collocations in Spanish, but you uh, can't okay. just translate them. You have to be a little bit careful because sometimes the words change a little bit to get to English, okay? So yeah, that's I, really a new yeah, word. I teach the, the teacher's course. Excuse me? Yeah, I teach the teacher's course and it has, uh, I teach the teacher's course and it has a chapter on grammar and all that. And it says collocations, no? one of the uses or functions of the right. word. And then I don't really understand why. Ah, okay. Was that so, so okay. Thank well, you. the I most important know. thing about collocations is there two or three words, usually two or three words that go together by culture, by tradition. And so everybody in Mexico mm -hmm. knows the words in Spanish. And I guess in mm -hmm. Venezuela, probably as well. You know, they might be different. You know, who knows? We have to look at them. And in English, it's the same thing. There's two or three words that always go together. You have to say a bar of soap. Hmm? You have to say fast food. Huh? So there are words that always go together. And if you don't say it right, 
It sounds funny. Next time we'll look at them more, okay? okay? Yeah, okay, because it might be a new word or a new idea, but I know you know, for example, get married is a collocation. Get engaged. Mm -hmm. Get fired. Get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Say that. <laughs> don't say that bad collocation that's a bad collocation we don't want to hear it okay <laughs> sounds good okay well welcome fernanda thank you fernanda. we're happy that you're with us okay we hope you learned something are you happy fernanda yes teacher okay Fernanda mm -hmm. wants to practice listening, okay? I would, Fernanda's at the Universidad de Valle de Mexico and she's in level four out of five levels of English, but she needs to practice listening and speaking. Like everybody, right? Everybody. Like all of us, okay? <laughs> have a happy Father's Day okay. to you that are lucky enough to have fathers. Maritza, you and I will remember our fathers quite fondly, of course. I, I have a father. I have a father in my house. The father ah, of my kids. So, so you're going celebrate. to celebrate. <laughs> you have the father yes, of your of children, right? So you could celebrate yes. him, of course. Yes. Okay, don't forget the father of your children. That's always a good idea, right? Yes. I hope you have a good right. weekend. Okay. And we'll see some of you during the week and the rest of you will see on Saturday. But I see almost all of you during the week. Maritza, I usually only see you on Saturday, but it's a pleasure seeing you as well. Okay. Thank you very much. You too. Okay. Enjoy well, everybody. Dance before we go, we're set. We're ready. Bye. Have a nice day. Welcome, Fair. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank Welcome, you. Fair. Nice to Have see you. Have a fun weekend.